Welcome back. This is going to be my daily forecast for uh, Wednesday, uh, October 28, 2020 for the cryptocurrency market. And we'll start off by looking at Bitcoin and then Ethereum. And if you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. So see this candlestick? This is a massive move to the upside. And this was not expected. I did expect this market to break below, towards the 50 moving week average. And the main reason for that is this. Here we can see that, uh, that the RSI is at 80. We are significantly, significantly overbought at this point. So I would not buy here. Uh, this is a market that can go parabolical, and it has. Um, it only means that we'll see a massive move to, uh, towards the downside at some point. So um, if you want to be risky, then you buy here. That is not the right uh, move, in my opinion. Always wait for a pullback towards uh, support in order to enter this market. At this point, it is just too risky to buy. We can get a massive red candlestick tomorrow. Uh, or on Thursday or for Thursday or on Friday and then you're basically stuck there for several days or several weeks or probably also months but this is a very encouraging sign but in my analysis it's not a very encouraging sign for the world economy as I see the cryptocurrency market it is very similar to gold it is a safe haven when investors think think that uh, fiat currency or are going to be less valuable and there's going to be a massive amount of stimulus and uh, and uh, expansionary monetary policy by central banks that is something that makes this market go higher I don't really see any other reason for, for this basically to go higher other than that, that people are buying into cryptocurrency in order to um, use it as a safe haven. So as the world economy is going down the drain, which is as it is at the moment, this market will mostly go significantly higher. Uh, we will have year, one year, probably years of... of uh, expansionary monetary policy by central banks and also um, governments around the world will basically flood the market with stimulus and so on in order to keep the economy afloat. And that will be very bullish for uh, cryptocurrency as gold and silver and so on and so on. Safe favorites in general. But at this point, if you look at technical indicators, this is not a market that I would buy into at this point because we are significantly overbought. The CCI has also been screaming for weeks now that we need a pullback and a sign of the uh, MACD and the stochastic turnaround, then you should probably consider selling this because that means that we are going uh, towards the 50 moving average. Um, we The distance between the price level and the 50 moving average at the moment is also quite substantial. So be patient, wait for a pullback in order to enter this market. We are in uptrend. There's no reason to expect this market to break the 50 moving average or the 200 moving average at any time soon. We are going uh, significantly higher. At this point, we are finding resistant here at this top. Uh, from uh, June in 2019, so there we haven't been at these uh, these levels for quite some time, and at this point, this is looking very very encouraging for Bitcoin. But we need a pullback in order to enter this market. So look at the other one. This is Ethereum. We didn't even get close to the 50 moving average as uh, as we did expect. We, we rallied quite substantially, pulled back a little bit, and we can see that we've started a new session now, and we are still going higher. So there's a lot more room to the upside. 
for Ethereum uh, the, uh, compared to Bitcoin. Um, we can see that the RSI is at 58. It's not overbought, not oversold. Uh, the CCI is flat at this point, but we have been in a period of overbought. Um, uh, so we, we could pull back. I did expect us to pull back toward the 50 before going higher. Uh, we could still do that, but the uh, Stochastic and the MACD have technically turned around. So uh, if we go higher from here, then we'll test these highs of um, a previous week of uh, 419. Um, then we'll go to 445 and then to 484. Uh, break below the 50, uh, 50 moving average opens the door for this entire uh, area here of support and the 200 moving average. But at this point, I have no reason to to um, to short cryptocurrencies whatsoever. Bitcoin and the and Ethereum will go uh, higher in the long run as they are seen as safe havens um, and so on. So this market will go higher. If you have a pullback towards the 50 moving average, that is basically a buy opportunity. So, hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by hitting the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. Good luck and thank you very much.